Hey everybody, this is Peeves and welcome back to my channel. I haven't been doing a video because I've been really busy. This weekend I went to the Oh Hello meetup up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, and it was put on by Kayla and Alex Bender from Oh Hello Stationery Company. They are amazing. It was such a fun time. This was their first meetup and I think they are planning to host more in the future. So it was really great. She did like a quick little Instagram hands-on how to take photos with Instagram workshop that I really liked. Um, a lot of other things too. It was great to meet people from even just in like my smaller area. Um, I highly recommend it. I will probably do a video of that today or tomorrow and post it up this week of kind of what we got at the meetup um, and maybe post some pictures and stuff. Um, in any case, I did want to show you guys what I got today. Um, I've been meaning to unbox my Nerdy Paper Company order. Um, it is a mystery post and I want to use it, but I wanted to unbox it for you first. And also, I got my very large 1407 order that came in. So, I'm pretty excited to open these both up. So, let's go ahead and dig in. I think I'm going to do my 1407 order first and then do the mystery post. So, you guys get kind of a little bit of both. Um, so, Natasha did this sale for Mother's Day and I got sucked in. Um, I've been dying to have this Buffalo Plaid TN since it was released, but I couldn't justify it. And since it was on sale and all other kinds of stuff, I decided to go ahead and spring for it. I don't know if I'll use it soon or if I'll hold off and use it later. Um, in any case, it is so cute. And they're actually really well made. Um, I found that I like the sturdier TNs now than I um, kind of just feeling my way around. This is still pretty flexible. But when it comes to the pockets, it really sturdies it up. So I'm pretty excited that I got that. That came in a B6 size. Um, and I think there's still some on the website. But check it out. Um, in any case, I ordered that. But I also ordered a bunch of other inserts. Um, I just kind of went ham and ordered probably like $100 worth of stuff. I think I blacked out there for a minute. Who knows? In any case, I got a couple different sizes. Two of the inserts I got are wide inserts. And I'll show you those in a minute. Um, and then I got a bunch of B6 inserts. Um, one thing I really like about her inserts is they are really nice and heavy. I do print most of my own inserts, but I did want to get some of these for specific reasons. I'm setting up a few different planners, and in doing so, I had specific directions I wanted to go for them. So I went ahead and ordered inserts so that I could do that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look and see which ones I ordered. Might even remind myself, who knows? Um, so one of the inserts that I ordered is for swag donations. Um, I have this channel and my Instagram, but I also have a very small Etsy shop and I do tend to donate to different events. Um, in addition to that, to be 100% honest, this is actually really good if I wanted to use it to plan potions and planners too, because then I can notate who I got it from, etc. Um, but really this is going to be for me. I'm going to make myself a little, um, I'm going to kind of go away from using the paper house for a minute and I'm going to go ahead and make my group TN, um, and that's part of what's going to go in it. So, um, I got a swag insert one. Um, this one, so one of the things I'm going to do is make a home planner, and that's what this is for. It's got mortgage, landlord, home contacts, home utilities, warranties, batteries, and filters. So like when I need to change them, safety passwords, home maintenance, um, emergency contacts. Like I thought this was really cool. Um, vehicle info, that way if anybody needs to grab it, it's right there. That way I've got also like when I got my last oil change, which has been a while. I'm gonna get my brakes done soon. Um, financial accounts, which is cool because like if you have your bank and then like your retirement account, life insurance, stuff like that people don't normally have written down. Um, important dates, which I usually keep a perpetual calendar, so this is not something that's really going to get used a lot but the important dates was i mean it's good to mark down especially for like renewals and stuff particularly um so there's one of the home inserts that i got and then this one so this one i got for social media and this i got for my group planner but also because i pr and clearly i need to do some filming and youtubing um so i thought this would be good for pr as well as for my own group use so I went ahead and got a social media planner that's gonna go with my swag donation one um, and then this so this is gonna be so cool 
I don't know if you guys have seen some of the stuff that I've been doing, but I have been trying to plan and like put like a picture in my monthlies so that I can kind of show what what I did that month really like a highlight a highlight basically I mean exactly what the insert is for it's two it's a month on two pages the calendar is over here top three a highlight which will be great for like if I just want to write it out a picture like I think I um I think that a picture from the sprocket would or the zip printer would fit really well there um, there's like a month in pixels, um, but I thought this would be really cool for like memory planning. So I got that and clearly there's well over 12 months in here. So can really plan quite a bit, even if I need to like go to two pages or something like that's awesome. Um, so I got that one. Um, this one is the Galaxy Daily. Um, and I actually didn't get it for the daily part. I got it for tarot cards. I usually do a past, present, future spread, and because I do a past, present, future spread, it's only three cards, and this kind of fits perfectly. Then I can put like what it is. I'm not sure how I'm gonna cover this up yet, um, but as a whole, I thought this was great because then I can also write down, like I probably will just do this like weekly, and this will last me quite a while, um, but then I can also write down, you know, the moon, for example, you know it changes all the time and I can write different things down. So this is the Galaxy Daily insert, but I thought it was perfect for tarot cards. So that's what I got that one for. Um, so I guess that goes in like my home one maybe. Um, and then this one is the Galaxy Undated. Um, mainly I just really like the Galaxy part of it. And so because it's undated, I figured, you know, I can use it whenever. So I went ahead and snatched one of those up. Um, those are all B6 sizes. Those are from 1407 Planners, um, and they will fit, obviously, perfectly inside my B6 TN, but we will, I'm not going to, probably not going to put them in that. I'm going to, I have a couple other TNs that I want to utilize too. Um, so one of the TNs that I'd like to utilize is this one from Oh Hello Stationery Company. We got this at CPC, um, and if you notice, this is not your standard B6 size. They have actual reasons for doing it. I think it's something to do with the allowing enough room for the inserts and to put stuff in there. Their, their logic is sound, I just don't know how to use it. Um, so actually what I ended up doing is I got inserts to make a um, self-care planner. Um, and currently right now this just has, um, it just has actually a 1407 monthly that I picked up and haven't even used yet. And then some folders that I made. Um, this is a May Designs book that I was previously using for tarot cards. Um, and then this is an EC lined journal. Um, but what I wanted to do was actually make some type of self-care planner. And so this kind of presented itself in a good way for that since they fit other notebooks and it's just not the B6. Um, what I actually went ahead and grabbed from 1407 was a mood tracker. Um, I need to do better at keeping track of it. And it's morning, afternoon, evening, which I think is really cool because obviously I'm going to feel a lot more hostile in the morning than I am going to be at night. Um, so it's kind of cool to be able to track it and see if there's like some trending things. And if you can tell, so this is a wide insert. I'm going to take out my May Designs too here so I can see what it looks like. All right, so we'll put our made designs. And so this is a mood tracker insert, and this is in a wide size from 1407. And so it actually fits pretty perfectly in there. Um, you can definitely go smaller. I chose to go with the wide just because I wanted it to be a little bit more on top of it. Um, and the other thing that I got is actually a um, it's not just a medicine tracker, but it is a self-care insert. And so it starts with like your personal information, your medical conditions, notes, pharmacy, blood type, etc. And then it goes, to, it's got like your doctors listed, your visits, which is really cool. I have an A6 insert that's very similar that I got from Carrie Bell Creations um, that works really well for this. But because I was making a full self-care planner I decided that I would just get a new one because it also included medicine trackers like what kind of medicine how much I take it dose side effects 
Um, obviously I can track whether or not I took it that day, which is really cool. Like if you decide to do like a specific color scheme or something. Um, and then it's like my blood pressure, which I have no idea what that is. They check it at the doctors. I never check it otherwise. However, if you do need to check it, it's really good to have those pages. Um, a symptom tracker. If you guys are spooning like I am, you deal with anxiety or depression or something along those lines. And it's helpful to try to track those symptoms sometimes because if you're really anxious and you notice it happens every day at a certain time, then you can kind of prepare for that and see what might work best to circumvent that. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And then in addition to that, it also has some notes pages. So I can make some notes there in the back. And if I put that with my, just like one of my regular notebooks that I can write down in, this actually fits really, really perfectly like that. Um, I've got obviously my pen from CPC that has been in here. Um, I have a pen loop from Oh Hello. I I like it. It looks good on there, but I like being able to move my pen around more. Um, so that will probably be something that I just do like I did before and just kind of stick it somewhere on the inside of here and then just stick the pen inside of it. Um, and then it's like that. So with the C or with the um, Oh Hello, they have three individual strings and they don't have one that wraps around it. So I've been telling people about this, but it's nice to show it. I got, and it actually came with this, which is really cool. Um, <clears throat> and I'll probably stick this back in here, but it's just a dash sleeve. Um, so it came with these, these sleeves as well as this and some paper clips from Walmart. Um, and it fits pretty well in here. So I will probably just stick it. I mean, it obviously is not gonna be the same size. And if that bothers you, it's probably not for you. Um, but if you do want one, you can get it at Walmart and it's like four bucks for the whole set. Um, but what I really like is this pen case slides over and it fits perfectly and it keeps it closed. So I can slip a pen in there so I don't have to have it on the side if I don't want to, like this one fits really good in there, but I can also put it on the front and it keeps it closed. So that was kind of my goal when it came to getting the, the wide inserts from 1407 were to use for a self-care planner. So that's kind of what that's gonna be. That way I can brain dump, I can keep track of my meds, my mood tracker, symptom tracker, and really just get on top of my mental health. Um, that was my main goal with that. Um, obviously, I got the tarot spread, and I'm going to put it in addition to that. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with that May book now because it's all it's obviously a little bit bigger than a B6, and it fits great in the Oh Hello, but I'm going to use that instead for mental health. Um, so I got that, and then I got this super cute little envelope. It's got my order in it, and it's got a die cut, but I like that it's just, I mean... That's adorable. I can just tuck it right in. And honestly, it's perfect for my self-care planner because it says make yourself a priority. So you can tuck it right in that little pocket and it's good to go. Um, this is nice and smooth. You've got another pocket here. So if I decided that say I wanted to tuck that in there, I could probably do that really easily actually. Let's give it a shot. That's the worst that could happen. This is just a dot grid I got from Plan with um, Peanut Butter Taco, Monica. She did a pajama, and this was one of the door prizes that I happened to win. Okay, so maybe it's not going to go in. Maybe if I put it in there before, I don't know. Um, I could also just tuck it inside. You know, there's different ways to do it. I've got this cute little Ouija card there. Um, but ultimately, I think that this is going to make a really good mental health planner. I like how sturdy they are. I don't quite know how to use it yet just because I'm not used to this style. This is more what I use in terms of a TN, like this style of TN. Um, so this is new for me, but I think it'll work really well. I mean, look at that. It's got quite a bit in it. Um, it's pretty nice. I've, I've got a new appreciation for them after being able to see people use theirs at the Oh Hello meetup. I thought I got some really good ideas out of it. Um, but I will be working on my new inserts and my new planners and hopefully I'll be able to show those to you here soon just kind of as I work through new setups um, but that was my 1407 order and obviously I'm really excited because I just jabbed your ear off for 15 minutes over it um, so let's go ahead and dig into the other part that I know is 
super exciting for me anyway, is the Nerdy Paper Company mystery order or mystery post, sorry. Ever, so this is the newt post. And so there's a newt post and there's a wizard post. And so they, they alternate. Um, this month of May was the wizard post. So this was the newt post, which came in April and I got it in May and then I ordered. So it's like you order a month ahead. Um, but I've seen some sneak peeks of this and you guys probably have too. I apologize that I've been so such a slacker with getting this out there. Um, but I was really excited. As always, Nerdy Paper Company, you can use my code, which is peeves 15 I'll put it down in the comments. Um, and you can get my exclusive sampler by mentioning my name at checkout. Um, so let's dig in. Every month she does these posts and they always have a theme. And this one looks like it's, it, well, I know it's a new post. But it looks like this is actually going to be for Nagini the Maledictus. And I know you guys know Nagini from the Harry Potter. We don't have a lot of confirmation that that's quite what she is, but or that she's that Nagini, but it's pretty, pretty sure bet she turns into a snake. And if she stays into a snake too long, she can just stay that way. Like the more she changes, the less likely she is to come back human, basically. Um, so this one is obviously themed with Nagini and it comes with the Fantastic Beast die cuts with the month on it, which are really cool. I like to tuck them in my monthly, almost like a tab to use to change it. Um, and then you've got Credence. I'll move those all the way for you guys. Um, Credence, Nagini, and then we've got the kit itself. Whoops, I ordered other stuff. Whoo, guess I'm glad I opened that. Um, here is the sticker sampler that comes. She has resized these, which is great. They used to be a little bit more square. Um, and with this, they slide into my sticker books a lot easier. Um, so if you're like me and you like to slide them in, that's perfect. She usually does a white background. So I'm not going to lie. This blue is beautiful. Like it just pops. I really love that. Um, I'm really excited. I almost don't want to use it just because it's so pretty. Like I want to laminate it and display it. Um, but isn't that always the case? I'm so bad at using sticker kits because it's so pretty that I just don't want to not, you know, use it and then want to use it later or something like that. So um, the sticker kit, it always comes with a sticker kit. It comes with decorative boxes, habit trackers, um, lists, and obviously the different boxes. This is really pretty. It's got like this snake skin and almost if you're like me and a huge Game of Thrones fan, it's like a dragon skin. Um, so that's really, really pretty. And obviously I got some more stuff because that's the mystery post. And then I ordered some other stuff for myself. So if you use my code peeves 15 this in, and mention me in the comments, this is a sampler that you will get. It's got some of my favorite stickers with the pixelated heart, the snitch, the reading, and the Nerdy Friday and the Akio stickers. I think that's awesome sampler. Not tooting my own horn or anything, but you know. Every month you also get the month sampler, which this is this one and it's adorable. Obviously May is Star Wars month, so you get Princess Leia there. You also get some Apple Watch, Theo, all kinds of cool stuff. So those are really cool. Um, I am always running out of trash stickers, so those are like a constant on order. I also just came out, or she just came out with Susie, which is a new character. Um, and so Susie is a librarian. And I love it. These are gonna be perfect for my book planner from Peanut Butter Taco. So I've got some Susie stickers, some Susie die cuts. Basically, it was kind of all about reading. Um, this one, so this is like Angry Kayla. Um, actually, let me rephrase. Kayla has the purple hair. Um, so I must have ordered a different one this time just to switch it up. Although I think that Susie and I are like twinning. So these are obviously, I think that it's supposed to be like mad at your planner, but really I'll probably use this when I forget to pay a bill or it's payday and I have to pay a bunch of shit. Y'all know me. I do not like to cut off my money. I'm cheap. That's why I wait for sales. That's why I give you codes. That's why I like to share all the savings that I can get. Um, but basically that's kind of what I got. There was my Murdy, ugh, my Murdy. Oh my gosh. Don't tell anybody. It was my nerdy paper company order. Um, that came with the stuff I ordered as well as my mystery post and my 1407 order, which came with a bunch of new inserts, including the inserts that I'm now using in my CPC Oh Hello Traveler's Notebook and a new B6 Plat, Buffalo Plaid Traveler's Notebook. 
if you would like to get your own inserts, I recommend visiting 1407 Planners. Um, I can link both them and Nerdy Paper Company in the comments below, as well as my PR code. You don't have to use my code. You don't have to mention my name, but you'd be stupid not to. Who doesn't like to save money and get free stickers? Come on now. All right, guys. Well, pay, keep keeping a look out. I can't talk today. I can't type today. It's a Monday, y'all. That's all I got to say. In any case, I hope to see you guys soon. I'm working on that TN thing. I'm trying to get a good, concise list of ideas around so that I can give it to you in a good layout from start to finish as opposed to here's my stuff. Have a great day. In any case, like I said, I'm super glad to have been able to share this with you. Keep subscribing to my channel. Keep sharing my videos. Don't forget to like me on um, Instagram or follow me, I guess, on Instagram. You can follow me on um, Facebook. I have a group. You can follow me on Etsy. I have an Etsy shop. All of those are going to be under Peeves Plans Chaos. Makes it really simple and short and easy for you. Um, as always, Stay nerdy, my friends, and I will talk to you soon.